Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about setting up the development environment and the different ways to create a Spring Boot project. So let's get started. First of all, to set up the development environment, you will be needing Java and Maven installed in your system. I would recommend you to use Java 8. Let me know in the comment section below which version of Java you prefer. So go to this Oracle website link and download Java 8 according to your OS specification. Once you download and install Java in your system, set Java home in your environment variable and add that to your path variable as well so that you can access Java from anywhere in your system. Then run the command java hyphen version in your command prompt and you will be able to see the downloaded version with java home path like this. Now before we go ahead with maven installation, we should know why do we even need maven. Previously in a java application, if we have any dependency on any particular jar, we download and add them in our class path so that it will be available to our application. But for spring application, you don't have to do that. Instead, we'll be using this Maven dependency management tool. In your project, you will be having one file called pom.xml where you will be mentioning the list of all your required dependencies along with version. Now, once you run Maven command, it's going to look at that pom.xml that yes, these are the dependencies needed for your app to run. So it will go to the repository and get all the required jars based on whatever dependency and version you have mentioned in pom.xml and add it to the class path. It also comes with a archetype or template which helps you to start with a starter project along with predefined files like pom.xml where you list out all your dependencies and let Maven do the rest. Now for Maven setup, go to this Maven website link and download latest version which is binary zip archive type showing as selected here. Once you download it, just extract the zip folder and you are done with Maven installation in your system. As you can see here, now you have to set Maven home in your environment variable and add that to your path variable similar to Java. Then run this command maven hyphen version, mvn hyphen version in your command prompt and you will be able to see the downloaded version along with path like this. Now for this course, I'll be using STS or Spring Tool Suite because on top of Eclipse, STS has been designed in such a way which helps you to work with Spring application. You can use any of your choices IDE which you are comfortable with. To download STS, go to spring.io slash tools as given here and get STS as per your operating system. Like in my case, I'll be downloading 4.16.1 Windows x86 64 version. After you complete downloading and installing STS, the interface will look like this. So what are the different ways that we can create our Spring Boot project? Number one, create a Maven project and add starter dependencies. So you have to go to your IDE, in our case it's STS, and from file to new to Maven project. For simplicity means to avoid the archetype selection, we will be choosing create simple project. Then clicking on next, we have to give these details about artifact ID, group ID, version and name. Here, group ID is like the package name which helps to identify your project uniquely and it has to follow the package name rules. Now, when you create the jar files of your project in Spring Boot, it will name the jar file using artifact ID plus version. So artifact ID is the name of the jar or artifact that you will be creating and version is the latest version of your project's jar file. After giving all these details, just click on finish. You will get a project like this. Then you have to add Spring Boot Starter Dependencies in your pom.xml and one main class along with other its Spring Boot application annotation to start with it. Number two, another way is to use Spring.io initializer tool. 
This is one of the most frequently used way of creating Spring Boot project. Here, you have to select the type of project which can be Maven or Gradle and then choose your language. In our case, we will be choosing Maven for the type of our project and Java for the language. Then, we'll choose the Spring Boot version. Always choose the latest Spring Boot version. Here, it's 3.0.0. Then have to give these details like group ID, artifact ID, name and package name as we have given while creating Maven project. Here, if you see carefully, when you change the artifact ID, last part of your package name also changes. So which means this tool tells you to maintain the naming convention as group ID plus artifact ID equals to package name. After you have given all the details, choose the kind of packaging which can be JAR or WAR, then Java version in our case, it's 8. Click on add dependencies, then search and select you needed dependencies and these will be added in pom.xml with all the compatible version. So no overhead for developers on version conflicts. Then click on generate. You will get a zip folder of your project which you need to extract and import it in your IDE. Now play around with it. Number three, third way to create it using STS IDE. Go to file, new, spring starter project. Here as you can see in the service URL that STS is also using spring initializer tool to create spring boot project. Select all the details as you have already selected in Spring Initializer tool in the browser. Then in the next page, select your starter dependencies. Then click on finish. Your basic Spring Boot structure is ready. When we will be creating and running our first Spring Boot project, we will be using Spring.io Initializer tool either through website or through STS. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please do share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. I'll catch up with you guys in my next video. Till then, keep learning with Prime.